Um, I'd now like to introduce Mr Christopher Williams, the Regional Manager, Southern Region, Department of Finance. Thanks, Richard. Um, I'm uh, Chris Williams. I'm the Regional Manager for the Department of Finance, based in Bunbury, um, in the tower, floor under Ashley, or two floors under Ashley, on the eighth floor. Um, I do actually have quite a close connection with Collie. Uh, both my brothers were born in Collie. My mum, who's about 87 now, used to be the radiographer at the uh, Collie Hospital. So I actually do have quite a close connection with, uh, with the town of Collie and, and uh, uh, ha are quite passionate about, about Collie. Um, what I want to talk about today is actually, um, I've worked for the state government, the Department of Finance is a state government uh, agency, and we handle a number of things. Um, two of which are uh, works procurement. So we actually do a lot of work, uh, or in fact we do all of the maintenance, uh, capital works, minor works, those sorts of things for non-residential state government buildings. Um, we also are involved in the goods and services procurement. Uh, and some of that may be interest to some of you because we actually get involved with other government agencies and actually facilitate the purchase of goods and facilitate the process of you guys <coughs> selling to government. Um, it's not that difficult um, if you know what you're doing. And uh, we also do have, and I'll talk about it a little bit later, we actually do have some selling to government forums, some of which, um, if, if people are interested, I can arrange to have them uh, done so if the Chambers of Commerce are interested. Um, and we do have some scheduled for uh, uh, next year. Um, I'm not sure there's one in Collie, but if there's enough interest, we can actually do it in Collie. Um, the maintenance for government buildings, we do maintenance on, uh, as I say, non-residential government buildings. It includes breakdown repairs, so if it worked yesterday, it didn't today, it's a breakdown repair, and that's all done through a call centre, which actually operates one in Ma uh, Manjimup and uh, one in Bridgetown. Uh, so anyone throughout the state, including the metropolitan area, if they have a breakdown in their uh, government facility, they actually ring a call centre. They don't really know where it is, but I'm telling you it's actually in Manjama. Um We also do uh, routine maintenance, minor works um, and capital works. There's a couple of capital works projects that are happening uh, around the place. I recently was involved in putting a new admin building on the uh, Darken Primary School. We're doing a trade training centre here at the um, Collie Senior High School. Um, we recently did an admin upgrade there. Uh, a couple of other projects that are happening at Bunbury. There's the uh, new um, primary school out at East Dalyalup, which is actually now called Tewitt Forest. Interesting name, because there's not too many Tewitts there. But um, the, uh, And uh, we're about to uh, expand the size of Dalyalup College, which is um, a senior school, a high school, it's actually a middle school at the moment, um, and it's about a $30 million project, so it's taking it from uh, a school that can, can handle about uh, uh, 500 students to a school that'll handle 1,200 students and run from comprehensive seven to year 12. In relation to the, uh, the goods and services contracting, um, we actually do set up quite a lot of uh, local uh, arrangements. In fact, there's, uh, we facilitate, do a lot of work for DEC, uh, and there are some contracts. In fact, there's a, uh, a couple of contracts that we have in place with some suppliers who are collie based who actually do a lot of the fast attack fire um, uh, equipment for DEC. They actually build it. Um, we also look after a lot of weird and wonderful contracts. Um, the water bombing, the Duns Aviation water bombing contract on behalf of DEC, uh, fast attack. Uh, aerial um, uh, contracts, um, the uh, fox baiting program and all the associated things. So the baits are actually uh, done in Harvey. Uh, that's where they're produced. Um, but we also do um, a lot of advice, um, planning, and we also do education in relation to uh, telling people how they actually can uh, do work on behalf of government. As I say, we handle 
most government agencies, there are some agencies that we don't actually do, and they're basically government trading enterprises. So ports, Western Power, Water Corporation and the Public Transport Authority, we normally don't do anything much for them. They have their own legislation and their own capacity to do things. Um, we also, in relation to agencies with uh, specialist responsibilities, we don't do anything with roads. Uh, main roads do that. Department of Transport, they do marinas and those sorts of things. And Land Corp look after industrial sites. But most other, interestingly, we actually do maintain most of Main Road's buildings. Um, and I, I did say non-residential, but we actually do look after some of the Main Road's houses as well as a bit of a, a sweetheart deal for them. Um, a lot of the works um, is, is actually done uh, via what we call our service alliance. So throughout the state, regionally, we actually have a service alliance with um, about 1,200 contractors uh, statewide, <coughs> and uh, they actually carry out a lot of our uh, breakdown repairs, routine maintenance, uh, maintenance minor works sort of stuff. Um, but we also uh, tender a lot of work, so a lot of, uh, and, and pretty much anything over $150,000 in value and up, all the way up to the likes of the Bustleton Hospital, which is about 117 million, uh, is done through a public open tender process. Um, and it's fairly a, a fairly straightforward process. There aren't too many tricks in it, but there are some opportunities to actually get um, what we would call um, a, a bilocal advantage, because there is, the state government have a bilocal policy, and we apply it to every tender every quotation that we actually do. And, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a, in a few minutes. Um, in relation to goods and services, uh, the state government set up what they call CUAs, or Common User Arrangements. They're a series of things that governed by uh, regularly, and agencies, rather than having to run a tender process every time, can purchase directly off these. Now, a lot of them are metropolitan-based, however, a lot of them do actually have uh, regional schedules in them so people can actually, agencies can buy locally. Um, however, the majority of those CUAs aren't actually mandatory for regional WA and that's where we come in. We actually help a lot of those agencies so they have the option of buying through a CUA but in a lot of cases they'd actually prefer to buy locally because the, ba the backup is locally and we help facilitate that in, in order to actually get uh, local suppliers to supply them. Um, we also set up a number of what we call group buying arrangements, which is a bit similar to a, a, a common use arrangement, uh, but it deals specifically with local businesses. Uh, in the Albany area, we have about eight of these that running. Uh, in the southwest, we don't have quite as many, but we have some for um, food and groceries for the, the prisons, uh, also some of the local hospitals. Um, and uh, we look after a, a lot of other things like cleaning contracts, gardening contracts, security contracts. Um, the, uh, in relation to the goods and services procurement uh, guidelines, uh, agencies can actually go out for anything under 5K and just direct purchase. They don't need any involvement. It's just basically a verbal quote or a do and charge. These uh, thresholds are actually under um, review at the moment and there's every chance early in the new year, they may actually increase substantially. Um, but also a simple verb, uh, verbal quotes up to about $20,000, written quotes between 20 and 150, and then as I said previously, anything over 150,000 is a public open tender. There is some talk that that threshold will actually go up to about 250,000. Um, one of the policies that the government apply is what we call value for money. So it's not always about price. Um, and it's also about quality, expertise and experience. And what actually happens with a lot of particularly um, goods and services, the contract uh, or the tender has a, a whole series of non-price criteria in there which we ask people to address, and that is your ability to actually supply the goods, what experience you have, your financial capacity, all those sorts of things. And they go a long way 
in the evaluation process. Um, and price very much becomes secondary. So uh, it, it's not unusual to see a lot of the goods and services tenders where someone with a, a, a mid price actually wins the tender because they've demonstrated that they have the capacity to do it better than others. Um, and something that's also been mentioned, and I think the guys from GR mentioned it, relationships. It is also about relationships. And one of the ways that we work with our service alliance, it's a very relationship-based um, process. So relationships are uh, exceptionally important. Um, and also sustainability, environmental um, and, and economic. Um, and if we're looking at our, uh, our public works, the, the capital works type stuff, um, one of the issues that we look at uh, very particularly is the buildability and maintenance, the ongoing maintenance of those, to try and minimise the maintenance and the cost to the state. Um, some of the benefits of purchasing in the region um, is obviously uh, establishing sound uh, relationships, value for money, the fact that people are local and can uh, uh, can service the, the items and, and respond in a really, really timely manner. Um, plus it also has wider benefits for the, the West Australian uh, regional WA. Um, and one of the things that does help facilitate that is the, the bi-local policy. The bi-local policy basically has a, a two parts to it. There's a, a, a regional business um, part. This is, uh, it, it's applied slightly differently for works as against procurement uh, or goods and services. Goods and services, it's basically a 10% uh, advantage. Um, however, with works, uh, there's 5% up to a maximum of $50,000 uh, if you're a local business. So if you've uh, registered within a, a certain radius of where that job's being um, conducted, you can claim 5% as being a local business. And then there's another 5% available upon using other local contractors or subcontractors. So you can claim up to another 5%, uh, giving you a total of 10%. The, um, so there's the region, that's basically known as the regional price preference, which is the business and, and content area. One of the issues with uh, goods and services is any contract over, uh, over $750,000, one of those pr uh, qualitative criteria or non-price criteria includes 20% for local businesses. So in other words, in top, on top of the bi-local policy, you'll actually get an additional 20% um, if, you're a local, if you're a local business on any contract over $750,000. So that tallies to a, you know, about 30% advantage over say, uh, uh, someone from the metropolitan area. So it's well worthwhile uh, having a look at and, and making yourself familiar with those sorts of things. Um, in relation to tenders, all government tenders are advertised on Tenders WA. So it's a really, really handy website to go and have a look at um, because if you're interested in doing work with government, every tender that, that government put out, not only the ones we do, but some agencies do their own, it goes up on Tenders WA. Uh, you'll find we put anything up there, um, you know, even a, a fifteen or twenty thousand uh, dollar quote. Quite often, will go up on Tenders WA. Um, there are brochures available. Um, I, I don't have any here, unfortunately. But anyone that is interested uh, or interested in any of the workshops, let me know. Um, as I say, there is the uh, a course on. It's about a two-hour session on selling to government. We are going to be holding some next year, uh, and if anyone is interested in those, please uh, let me know and we'll let you know where they're being held. We normally uh, work with the Chambers of Commerce, um, so you'll be uh, uh, advised of when and where they are. Um, and we have uh, local offices, so the area that I have a look after, uh, I have three uh, regional offices, Bunbury, Albany and Narragin. Um, however, we have 13 regional offices statewide and um, 
I'm based in the tower, as are my procurement team and my works team. I have another procurement team, a works team down in Albany, and I have some proc a procurement team in, uh, in uh, Narragin. But more than happy, if you're interested, call in and see us on the eighth floor of the Bunbury Tower. Thanks very much.